hello everyone how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel this is franz k mouthpiece and today do we have a little cute session for you so today is what day it is lord sunday the 18th of december and i'm in my warm house with my heater at my feet so i'm on the floor guys something a little different for you today <laughs> and i'm literally with my cup of tea and we're going to sit down today and we are going to wrap presents and talk about the latest hot topics that is happening there's so much things happening so much things going on drama we're going to talk about the megan the stallion case we're going to talk about kanye and um, derry jackson's wife divorce um yeah shanquilla robinson like so many topics and issues we're going to talk about i'm really liking my makeup today it's just plain and simple look at the i love the lip stick i'm going to show you what i use i'm not a makeup expert or anything but i don't know it's just giving the light and everything so this is what i've used for morph i just put it on just a while ago on my lips see give it natural then i put a little bit here because that's what it's used for and then i go a little like this i think it's quite good actually when you're out and about it's like a two-in-one it's a cheek and lip color so it just gives natural it's not before i continue guys click um subscribe and to get notifications on my next videos which i will be having um share with your fellow friends and family and just click the link but yeah share use this opportunity to share with others anyway let's get to what we're here to discuss so i'm gonna show you what i'm wrapping because we're gonna actually wrap some presents while I have my tea so this is a light discussion nothing too serious so I have my Christmas gift wrapping paper that I got from TK Maxx I have my scissors and my tape this is going to be so weird wrapping everything in front of you because it's not like I have a table or whatever so guys okay let's start on the Megan the Stallion situation. Now, I don't really know much because I live in the UK, so I don't really know the ins and outs of everything. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys who might not know everything about it because I do have a few friends who watch this and they'll be like, what? I do have a friend, she she's like, just like me, Christian, but she's proper, like, does not uh, follow any glossy bugs, know anything about these celebs. Which I don't blame her. The Lord is still working on me to get rid of all those gossip blogs and stuff. But anyway, um, so the situation was Megan the Stalin, she's a rapper. She's a young woman. She's quite young. She's in her 20s. Um, she recently um, graduated from uni. So kudos to her um, while she was having a rap career. Now, she's your typical young rapper. She talks about cars, not even so much cars, but clothes and more like sex. Like she talks a lot about sex and her body and all these kind of things. Now, she came into the industry when she was young. Uh, this is off recollection. It's I'm not Googling this. This is what recollection I know of her. She came into the industry when she was young. And by the time she came in and signed a contract, she signed a contract to this company, 501, um, to this text, to this Texas, Texas, um, music in, um, music organization, or you would say, what do they call them? Yeah. It, not an industry, um, record company, right? It's a small record company. Both her parents had died. So her mom and dad, by this time, by the time she had saw the record deal, they were no longer there. So she's a young woman. She both had her parents in their life and they're no longer there. So she doesn't really have anyone guiding her. And she's signed to a smaller record deal who's probably not, you know, don't really keep taps on their, um, 
on their stars maybe don't give them good enough advice now now she's coming to the industry and she was on this hot girl chick this hot chick hot summer hot summer hot girl summer that's what they used to say hot girl summer so if you saw her before and i don't know if i'll have clips i might if i might have clips i might add it to this video if i don't have clips you don't see in the video but literally she was on one of her themes when she first entered was hot girl summer so everywhere you saw her she was literally with all the latest celebs kylie Nicki minaj cardi b every person rihanna everyone you name it she was out and about with these people she had a new best friend every day she was literally she would be out at parties pouring down drinks down these people's throats they were, i can't know she had a name for it i can't remember what she called it but literally it was this thing where she went everywhere she had like drink with her she would be encouraging people to drink she would be drinking herself having a good old funky time right now recently like i think a year or so ago um what came out in the news was she went out to she came from a party at kylie's house the kardashians and uh, literally she got shot by another rapper supposedly this is the whole point of the uh, megan the stallions court case was to investigate who shot her so if you saw the video um, there was a video of her it was on the news it was on the television she came out of the car she was hopping on one leg and she couldn't go to the floor so basically the police were telling her there were helicopters telling her to go on the floor she had her hands up like this and she was hopping she couldn't actually put herself onto the floor and she was in a bathing suit as well and then when they she was um, escorted to the hospital and they found bullet fragments in her foot and there was blood on at the scene and bullet casings i think yeah so there were four people i think within the car whatever it was the driver i think tory lanes which is another rapper he's um canadian i'll get to him in a bit and then her best friend um former best friend kelsey now these are the four people who would have witnessed what happened to her so she now is at court and she's taking Tory lanes or not even she's taking Tory lanes i would more say the um the da the district attorney in la or wherever the case is yeah, la is taking Tory lanes to court um to investigate who shot megan the stallion so Tory is the accused person um because she claimed that he did it um kelsey now she is not with anybody so she's not with well supposedly she's not on tory's side but others would say the court case would say otherwise but she's also definitely not on megan's side and she's done a lot of made a lot of disparaging comments towards her express friends she even made a diss track <laughs> a rap music on um the internet a diss track how talking about shooting her friend or something along the lines i don't know but why the reason why i want to talk about this court case because what this court case has shown me is a lot of things one it talks about friendship so the real reason now why this whole thing is just messed up and it talks about toxic friendship well one thing the whole thing between kelsey and megan why they're no longer friends so they had an argument during this so-called shooting. So Kelsey and Megan got into an argument because Tori was allegedly sleeping with Megan and the rapper and also Kelsey, the best friend, around the same time. And what had hap what has come out now in the court case, because they're really trying to tarnish Megan and Sally. And I do feel sorry for her um because she's a young girl she's come out in the industry as i said she didn't have a, any parents to help guide her she wanted fame so she probably did anything to be around some of these rappers because she's slept with quite a few rappers in the industry now it's come out and um so they're painting her out like this horrible person so literally she Kelsey, which she's not a rapper per se. Well, she is, but she's not well known. She doesn't have a record deal. She was Megan the Stallion's 
Megan the Stallion's former assistant as well. She's now come out and literally is not friends with Megan the Stallion because Megan was sleeping with everyone Kelsey was sleeping with behind her back. So that's I'm like Megan, I don't know why she would do that. Why would you do that? There's some there was some form of jealousy there why she would do that to sleep with everyone that Kelsey slept with. Anyway, so Kelsey now was annoyed with this. They both have a fight. And rumor has it, it could be Kelsey the one who shot shot Megan. Because the gunpowder was found on Kelsey's hand. Um, reports have it that Kelsey was sitting at the front. So it's possibly she could have pulled the trigger. No one is actually coming out. Well, Tori has come out and said it's not Kelsey. But then Tori is saying it's not him. So who could it be? The driver in this case has gone missing. So he was supposed to come and um speak on megan's behalf and say well you know it was tory or whoever it was he was the other witness he's gone missing no one even knows where he is so that's another thing that's like just crazy i don't know i hope he's alive god please let this man be alive and he's no longer there so and what's even crazy, as I said, remember, she was part of this group called 501. Now, she left 501 and she's now being managed by Rock Nation. She wanted to leave 501 because apparently they weren't doing great business. And this ex-best friend of her, Kelsey, that's in the court case, that's supposed to be on the prosecutor's side, but she's not really doing a great job. Apparently, she's gone into court and she keeps lying. So there was an audio of her saying that Tory killed um tori shot megan now she's in the court case she says she can't recall what happened she keeps having amnesia she keeps saying oh, i don't remember this i can't recall this or she gives like one-worded answers i don't know the whole detail but so far what i read this is what's happening but then she also sent a message to the driver saying it on the security that tor um tori lanes killed um sh sorry shot megan in the foot shot megan in the foot so this is why i'm saying friendships my god even if i'm angry with someone even because people have done me bad even if people have done me wicked i will never sit down and it's like she's doing this on purpose i will never withhold the truth sis if you know the truth tell it why are you hiding it why are you keeping it why are you playing like these games like so part of it as i said this woman now, Kelsey, she's married to a guy who's an executive producer on 501. So the recording company that used to be Megan Thee Stallion's former recording company that she's in a lawsuit with because she wants to leave. She's trying to leave, trying to get rid of her contract with them. Her ex-best friend is actually married and has a child for one of the chief producers chief officers in there he's like <laughs> he plays an important role so it just gets messier and i think times like this i don't know if she knows god but she really needs to seek god i would say megan seek god because this shows as i said in the beginning when she first came out she was partying with everyone she was friends with everyone that's why she probably slept around with a lot of what well, um i think so far it's been like two or three three or three people so far i've heard she slept around with in the industry for someone who just started out you can't be friends with everyone you you know the, it, i think it's a waking call she was young and immature because now you never really see her out there partying like that you never see well she has a boyfriend now thank the lord um party he seems to be really good he's a not really a rapper he's more like a writer she's come out now megan the stallion and said this has been an embarrassing situation her boyfriend feels embarrassed by her sexual history coming out and i'm not surprised i'm really not surprised that he's embarrassed by this because it is a little embarrassing but even though i would say that i would say why is it that women are always held to one standard and men not the other? Sorry, guys. I'm just going to call. I'm going to speak about that. But just give me one second. So I got this present just for my aunt. So my aunt, she's, this is my uncle's wife, my uncle I'm related to. I got his wife like two presents, but this is one. 
isn't this cute i got her little necklace from tk maxx it's like gold plated she likes penguins so i got her with a chain with a penguin on it so i'm gonna have to scrape up the price tag and everything and by this way i was on a budget for everyone everyone had like a set price that i wasn't going over so yeah what i find up crazy about this industry and society as a whole is they hold men and women at different standards for example why is it that all the men can sleep around and they're not seen as whores or anything but megan the stallion yeah fair enough what she did wasn't right i wouldn't tell no one to sleep around i believe in celibacy or abstinence um no sex before marriage that's what i believe in having that men and women are held at a different standard the the baby is another rapper he sat down he made a whole diss track on megan like you slept with this woman and then you're cussing her out it's crazy um who else like i just find it so crazy like who's the baby what why does he want to talk why is he cussing her he has how many baby mothers right and this is what i hear about the rap industry and the culture in in general and this is why society is messed up because it's one-sided men should be held at the same standard as women the bible says nobody should be having sex before marriage even if you are a man fornicators are going to hell <laughs> it didn't say fornicating women it didn't say the marriage bed should be undefiled for women right so this double standard in the hip-hop industry right so her whole sexual issue was brought up in the court case because what they're trying to the defendant is trying to portray that she's a loose woman that she got into a fight with kelsey kelsey now probably was the one who pulled the trigger that's what i think they're trying to portray why they've come up with her history because i didn't see why they need to talk about this woman's sexual history and to me it's like the husband the boyfriend doesn't need to be ashamed party you don't need to be ashamed she's changed it's not like she's sleeping on you now but this black pe young black men and people in general have this thing called um she's for the streets so it's like they look at women even though women have changed their lives say they were sleeping around they suddenly realize what they did was wrong and they've changed their life they look at you as dirty but they're this the same men would be doing that for example future he always says in his raps oh she's for the streets right that's supposedly the thing but he's literally the streets himself he goes around right and has women by different mothers um he doesn't look after his women he doesn't look after the babies he's all about he's with another chick another woman an ex mom another day and it's just like you're no you're not a role model yourself either you're making creating broken homes these people are creating broken homes it's absolutely ridiculous i'm doing a lot of chatting and i need to do a lot of more of this so yes yeah, so that court case to me was just like i feel sorry for her because her industry her sexual history is out there all these men are coming for her in her life like so i hope party does stay with her because she's well to be honest the real men you need in life is jesus if you have jesus you don't need to worry if our boyfriend left her she don't need to worry but in general I hope this is a wake-up call um this has surely sh if nothing else this should show her the industry don't care about you baby girl um stop being friends with everyone stop sleeping around with everyone well she's stopped now because she has a boyfriend but generally like the only person cares about you is god i'm telling you and i hope she wins this case if she doesn't win this case because i think they don't have enough evidence to actually link link it to anybody per se because the kelsey woman has uh, gained tried to got she's done immunity or something but she i think she's lying about something or she's hiding something just because she wants megan to fall because it doesn't look good for megan at this moment i do pray for her because this i wouldn't want to be in this situation it is crazy but one thing i will say even if they don't come to a conclusion and Tory Lanez, his crazy self, because I'm going to talk about him in a minute. 
if this case um if he doesn't get arrested or whatever i don't have no fight i have no dog in this fight so i'm not vying for anyone particular but i will say god he's the judge and one thing these people don't realize is even if Tori did it and he gets away with it or Kelsey did it and she got away with it or whoever did it and they got away with it. Your life after this is never going to be the same. That's what people don't realize. You think you've gotten away with it, but God has a way of really metting out justice. Yeah, so that's one present. <laughs> I'm going to show you the other present that I've gotten and I'm, I'm going to talk about Tori Lane now and him. This is another present that I got from my aunt. Same TK Mac. She likes gardening. So this is like garden gloves and hand cream. And it's vegan. Vegan hand cream. William Morris. I don't know if it's a good brand, but I'm assuming. Isn't it pretty? The gloves. Look how pretty that is, right? So that's her. So now Tori Lanes. Mr. Lanes. Oh. This man is a short man with a temper. This is not his first time he's gotten into drama or altercations. Hold on. Mm. With anyone. That's not the first time. I think he got into an altercation with um, August Orsino, which is a singer. Him and his bodyguards jumped August because August didn't say hello to him or whatever in the lift or whatever that's ridiculous it's not because someone ignores you your ego gets offended you go and beat someone up and then he lied so what made it worse he lied and said he wasn't there he was in a record studio proof came out a video camera came out showing that he actually was there so if tory lane's really because apparently what megan the stallion said that tory got angry because she insulted him about his music so tori came out in the car and said some stuff between kelsey and megan um he was the one saying oh megan has been sleeping to kelsey he she's been sleeping with all your guy friends or whatever behind your back all the guys that you slept with she slept with blah 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 so then megan and kelsey got into a fight then megan turns on to tori and makes fun of his music or industry or lack of music or something like that lack of his songs or whatever and then he gets angry and starts shooting at her and says dance b-i-t-c-h dance and shoots at her foot that's what she claims all right so to me it sounds like this man and that's not the other thing there's another um quite a few incidents let me find out of people saying that he, this man has a temper so to me as i said is that even if tory lanes does not is not convicted in this one guess what there's that case between august or Steven. he i think he was on house arrest because of that so he has another court case against him so he has different arrests like different case so if he doesn't win this the da of la i'm sure will try and get this man for the august he's kids. known for being violent a violent person that's what people need to talk about but to me what is crazy you have a lot of black women who are actually very protective of him they hope he wins a court case where i'm like you hope this man i don't know if he's done it or not i wouldn't say anything i would i hope the justice prevails and the truth come out come out but i'm not backing someone i don't know anything about and from what i see he's a violent person And that's what I, a lot of black women tend to do. Not a lot. Let me stop. But there is a sect of women who seem to like to protect the, the most aggressive, violent people. For example, R. Kelly, a predator. A lot of women were protecting him, were turning up at his court cases, um, screaming his name, 
you know, I just don't understand. He's there's several cases of him coming out of rumors or proof of him being with young women and they still protected him. The same with this Tory Lanez guy. There's several incidents of him being violent and people still want to be on YouTube like protecting him. I'm reading this. I'm reading this article um that will tell me about how many other things so one i think was the august australian thing where he beat up the singer in a lift so that one uh, one singer against how many people and the thing was august australian he suffers from an autoimmune disease which that um that attack could have put him back in a bad condition in the hospital and he lied. So Tory Lyons said that he was in the booth producing music or making music, but camera proof camera came out, a camera video camera came out later and showing that he wasn't. So he's a liar. So should we really trust him if he can so bold faced lie about an issue where many people saw him at this event as well? And he's gonna come out and say he was no way near this guy. Hmm. so it seems like this guy has some violent tendencies and i think you know this is why you need to live your life right as well because the court will look into all of that i'm sure the prosecutor might bring this up into the court case it's just gonna look crazy overall for this guy they're gonna be like most people going into this court case if they know anything about him gonna be like nah they believe that he's done it because he has a violent past and your violet pass will always catch up to you so that's that on that case it's just sad you need to choose your friends wisely you need to also stop these women when they go into the industry these young rappers they don't know what they're putting themselves into this is another thing these lifestyles is not working now megan is embarrassed about her past and what she's done and it could affect her relationship with party okay now lastly um i'm going to show you just the presents i have because it's coming to an hour and i don't think you want to hear me talk on and on and on so the other presents I'm going to show you is what I got. So I got my uncle this um, hat and scarf. It's cute, isn't it? This is Penguin, which is like an English brand. I'm going to show you the price. But I got it from TK Maxx as well. I love TK Maxx. It's so cute and so warm. My uncle likes hats, so that's why I got him that. I think I might get him something else, just something tiny, maybe like socks to go with this. But you could never go wrong with a hat and scarf set for winter. What else? Um, ooh, so I got my cousin a gift card. <laughs> I know, um, I got it from Boots. I put money on it. She loves makeup, all of those beauty stuff like perfumes everything so if she goes in boots she could buy something with it or if she sees something else she could put like put you know use the money from here and put it towards whatever she's paying then i got her this in morph as well this is good so this, so it comes with a lipstick mascara and eyeliner gold eyeliner so i don't know if you can see it yeah so that's nice morph guys if you want anything like um morph has a lot of sale i got so much stuff for morph like i got like um these paintbrush sets for like 13 pounds i'll show you it's from morph and everything also i got this for my little nephew but i think i might get him some other stuff because Kids don't really care for clothes this much. But this is heat up for Muni Glow. You know, this this is like the bottom and the top. I have loads of these. In fact, I'm wearing some now. Like the leggings that I have, I don't know if you can see. It's not actually stockings, but heat tech leggings. I think I might get him like toys. A little toy. I'll get him a little toy. Because my budget, you know, I have to think of my budget. 
So I'm actually going to show you the makeup brush set. Hold on. So guys, look at this makeup brush set. Oh, sorry, from Morph. I don't know if they have Morph in America, but it's so cute. And it's pink. Flash of rose. Let me see. I don't think I've opened it, but I'll show you what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Okay, that's about it. <laughs> Should I open it for you guys? Wow. I like shopping, by the way. Ooh, that's so pretty. No, I'm not paid by the company. <laughs> I'm just sure. I just go there regular because they have good deals. I've got, I get like a lot of good makeup from there. Right. And then I'll show you this sweater that I got from Uniqlo recently. Like Christmas. If you want to get good like winter stuff. If you want to get good winter jackets, good winter clothes. As I said, this dress is from, sorry, it's from Uniqlo. As you can see, uh, the tag has even come off. Look how pretty it is. Oh, Red is so pretty and it's a turtleneck and it's made with heat tech material which is like a special material that they have that keeps you so warm so yeah i could have actually worn this on this as well if i wanted but yeah nice sweater right so i think i would want to end this video but i'm not gonna fully end it there's just too much two more things that i want to talk about before i go so the other situation that I want to talk about is the Derek Jackson situation and his wife. Right. Another person that I feel so sad for. So I feel sorry for Megan the Stallion, but I feel sorry for her. So if you don't know the situation, Derek Jackson, right, he was, uh, well, more his wife. I feel sorry for his wife. I don't know his wife's name, but I feel sorry for her. But here's the reason why I feel sorry for her. So Derek Jackson, he, if anyone knows him on YouTube or Instagram, he was like a popular relationship guru. He still is. But he's the opposite of Kevin Samuel. So while Kevin Samuel kind of like um, talks bad about women, like it's a little bit aggressive the way how he talks to women and stuff. Derek Jackson is the opposite. He tends to like... He's a motivational speaker for women. He like talks really good about women saying um and kind of like you know tell men to fix up like men fix up your woman if your woman loves you and all of these kind of things, right? Now no one knew he was married or whatever. He didn't talk about being married or any of the situation. I didn't follow him, but I saw one or two of his clips when he first came out. And I was like, oh, he's speaking facts, right? Then um, a situation came out where this woman exposed him for cheating. And then it came out he was actually married. So he's married to a Christian woman. He's supposed to be supposedly Christian as well. And he had several affairs. Now, the, what happened, point in case, was when his wife was introduced, the way how she was introduced was, an, was a bit was a bit off ish right so in there was a video that came out with his wife Derek jackson and his wife and they were sitting down and they were talking about um what had transpired and then they're going through healing and everything and in the video she had a bonnet on she had like an army shirt like a shirt and she was look she looked army like she's ready to fight like in the army of god and people made fun of her i'm not gonna lie i was one of those people who had a little giggle because i was like woman why do you have a bonnet on you're doing a video and you know it's gonna go worldwide because this guy is influential he's on youtube he's on instagram everyone knows about him all the not everyone but a lot of popular gossip blogs like he even reached all the way to the uk everyone heard about this situation and you come online wearing a bonnet. Anyway, no judgment path. She said the bonnet was the salvation. So in the Bible, there is like the put on the armor of God, right? 
and the armor of god literally is what they would say they likened it to the roman army at the roman army they had a full armor and they would and the bible says put on the armor of god when you're fighting um, battles spiritual battles right and each armor depicts something so she wore a bonnet and she called it the helmet of salvation and i think her whole idea was she's going to fight against the enemy and her and her husband are going to fight for their marriage i think that's what she was doing right in her videos right and she did several videos with this bonnet and people made fun of her then a whole year passed and uh, everything quieted down she was still married to Derek jackson um they were seen going to church you know she started dressing up a little cute because in that video um she wasn't ugly looking but she just looked a bit homely she just had a t-shirt on and she didn't have makeup or her hair specifically done and then she came out with a book called healing after infidelity which was good i think like god may must have been working on them or whatever um or they yeah they went to church and everything you saw she went to church she did videos and she created that book and then recently like about two weeks ago a little bit over two weeks a video came out and in this video she was cursing people i'm not gonna put up the video because i didn't like the video i was watching that video and i didn't even finish watching the video because the way how she was just talking i was like i don't want no curses on me so she i don't know what happened what transpired but she was cursing people who made fun of her for her bonnet for anyone who wished evil on her marriage, anyone who tried to make ma her up her marriage, anyone who talked bad about her marriage, she felt that it was right to curse them. So she was saying, oh, for those people who tried to break up her marriage or wish or laughed about you or whatever the situation, she wishes that their marriage would fall. She just would break up that she was just cursing people, just wishing bad on people. As I said, I didn't finish watching it. I just watched like a couple of seconds of it. And I said, no, oh, I rebuke it in the blood of Jesus. Rebuke it. Because I am fully aware of what curses can do. But I'm fully aware of curses. Um, so I was like, nope, rebuke it. And then now, after that happened, the following week, her husband, Derek Jackson came out with a picture of him like i don't know why he came out with this picture of her he was lifting her up or whatever in this picture and then he wrote underneath it that he's divorcing his wife they're going their separate ways they're seeking counseling they want to raise their family in the best light you know the whole spew about divorce and yeah he's the one who filed for divorce and I was saying, so this woman sat down and cursed people out and it came back to bite her in the butt, literally. Because her marriage is ending. And while I feel sorry for her, because I know she's a Christian woman, and maybe she didn't intentionally mean it because she had Bible verses. So she fully believed that what she was doing was right. She fully believed that it was her right to curse anyone so i'm gonna look at what the bible says about cursing people and i'm not judging her because as i said i might have called someone an idiot but okay fair enough i've never cursed someone so i never wished death on anyone because we know that the power power lies in her tongue death and life lies in her tongue so when i mean death and life if you curse someone say i wish you dead it could possibly come true because our tongues are powerful right that's why we usually say in christianity rebuke that in the power of jesus rebuke that so we we cast it away we don't want that you know when people say things over our life and we don't agree with it we don't want that so this is what the bible says this is what you need to be careful because it's come back 
too hard to her that same curse she put on others it says let no corrupting talk come out your mouth but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear that's ephesians four twenty nine. James 1 verse 26. If anyone thinks he's religious and does a bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, the person religion is worthless. James 3 verse 8, um, 8 out of 10. There's so many verses on this. But, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Oh gosh. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people are made who are made in the likeness of God. For the same mouth come blessing and curse, my brother. But those these things are not to be so. So it's saying that with the same mouth we can bless and curse others. My brothers, these things are not to be so. But it's not to be so. We're not meant to curse and bless at the same time. So we're completely not meant to curse anyone. We're only meant to use the mouth to bless others. And that's why I feel sorry for her. Because why? I think she just got too caught up. You know, sometimes we have to let... One thing I've learned in life is let God fight your own battles for you. Don't fight your own battles. Be careful. Because we sometimes use our mouth. I used to do it in the past. When I'd be angry, I'd be going around. I'm, I'm up. I speak a lot. I, I can be quite loud. And I would be like, ah, arguing that person, fighting them down with my mouth. And it just wouldn't get anywhere. It would either make me look stupid, make me look crazy. You know, sometimes my words could hurt someone. So never use your own mouth to fight someone. You need to go in the corner and pray and let God fight. So what she should have done, she should have never came out and did that video i think like i don't know how she feels about the video because she was justifying it before she said these curses why you know why she was going to do this video why she cursing the the bible says it's okay and then a week later he was also found pictured with another woman and the story came out that um he was leaving her. He wrote a message so he's leaving his wife. They're going their separate ways. They want to raise healthy kids. So clearly they probably had an argument after this. Or maybe him seeing other woman is what infuriated her to create that curse. But it doesn't do bold to curse people because it comes back to you. And this is what the Bible says. So I think in the best occasion in situations like this, let God fight your battle. Just go pray about it. Let God intervene. And I hope maybe this might be the best thing for her. Sometimes we think the person we are meant to marry, it wasn't ordained for us to marry that person and God has better for you. You just have to trust Lord in this process. I pray that wherever she is, you know, that she takes time. She continues writing her books. She uses opportunity to write another book you know god will use her and i pray that she asks for forgiveness she sees that she's wrong in this situation and yeah and another person who likes to curse another person who's allowed who cursed himself out of his own blessings is kanye west that's one thing i wanted to talk about kanye west so we know Kanye West recently has lost billions in money, like loads of money. And it's because he death on three Jews. He said death count on three Jews. Now, Kanye, even if these Jewish people did you wrong, you should not curse them. The Bible says it don't matter how you religious you can be. Do not curse no one. Do not curse no one. Luke 6 28 it said bless those who curse you and pray for those who abuse you so Kanye you should have went into prayer this is what life is teaching me and God has taught me he says I will fight your battles for you do not curse anyone do not let God deal with that enemy of yours because he will deal with them properly when you start putting you start getting involved you start seeking vengeance God's wrath will turn against you Kanye man he messed up 
he messed up. I don't think like what, and he's still messing up. He still thinks that he can solve this situation by going around angrily screaming at people, outbursts. His own mouth has allotted him to lose billions by him opening up. Every time he goes into an interview, he says something crazier than the other. Instead of he just says, you know what, I'm sorry to all, what, everything I said, God forgive me, I'm changing over a new leaf, he goes into prayer, let God deal with his enemies, that's what he should have done in the beginning, let God deal with everything, so I don't want to talk about this situation anymore, and go into hiding, pray about it, fast and pray, the situation will be dealt with, he decided to come out and so going on his tirades, his tyrants, everything, and his own mouth caused him. Colossians 4 verses 6. Let your speech always be gracious, Caesar will sort, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Romans 12 verse 14. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. You see the same thing. If Kanye had followed that, his life wouldn't be in the situation that it is now. I think also another issue with Kanye is several issues. One, Kanye is lonely. So that's why he's going around. He's doing all these tirades. He's arguing with everyone. He wants attention. And he doesn't have anyone to seek counseling from. I'm not sure if he attends a church. Or who's passing over him but Kanye need, I think he needs to take a rest from the industry he needs to go into his Colorado I think that's where he <laughs> I think where it is what that mansion of his he needs to spend time with the Lord and hear from him like really create a relationship with him a few albums is not gonna do it Kanye like you really need to seek the Lord honestly I do believe he believes in Jesus. I do believe he loves the Lord. But Kanye's relationship with the Lord, from what I can see, is struggling at the moment. Because part of it, Kanye still has one foot in the industry and one foot outside. One part, one part of him still wants to be fully involved in the industry. The other part wants to serve the Lord. And you can be serving two masters. And this is his problem. If he continues to want to serve two masters, you will always have this struggle. One minute he's cursing um, Balenciaga, if I don't care if I've said it properly, and um, saying how they what they their ad ad campaign is um, promoting pedophilia, all of this. Then the next minute he's wearing the clothing. One minute he's do he wants albums, he wants to he wants his money back, he wants his clothing deals, everything back. And the next he's cursing these people out. So I think, as I said, he's not wholly submitted himself to God. He's still struggling. He has a lot of battles. Part, part, part of it, even though people have, oh, we're tired of hearing it. It's true, he does have a mental health problem. And he does need to take his medication for it if he doesn't. Um, he's lonely, that's another thing. He doesn't really have his mom around. He used to be like solid foundation. Love and care for him. He doesn't have that. I don't, I don't think his relationship with his father is as great or he's as close like he was with his mother. He doesn't have friends in the industry anymore. He alienated himself from all of them. He doesn't have his wife like that anymore. So he has no one there to support him, to tell him what he's doing is right from wrong. <coughs> Sorry. Whoever he has around with him are just people he probably pays. So, Kanye needs to humble himself, seek the Lord, pray and fast, take time away from the industry, and choose who he will serve. I mean, he's such a talented artist. He could do so many gospel music. He could produce movies, gospel movies. He could produce so much things. And direct it to serving the Lord. To Kanye what he wants to decide. Who he wants to serve. I think once he fully submits to God. He will be relieved. 
and a lot of stress will be taken off of him and god will provide for him and his tempers will calm down because the holy spirit will work in him if you fully submit to god i notice the holy spirit works in you and it renews your mind and changes you so the things that you would talk about you don't talk about the same the things that you're passionate about like the things you would keep you interested like for say like certain kind of music certain kind of lifestyle because he said he has a porn problem um which affected his marriage he wouldn't have those issues because god would work on him to try and get rid of them and it would be less in his life so I do pray for him. I do pray for Derek Jackson's wife as well. Because she's a Christian person who made a big mistake. I don't know her heart per se. I don't know if she really wished wicked on people. I would like to believe not. But I think she just went through she was going through a lot behind closed doors. And um everyone found out about her eventually found out about him cheating like a week later after he filed for divorce everything came out so she probably was fighting behind closed doors no knew that it would eventually come out maybe said i'm gonna tell people and she was fighting for a marriage and it didn't work out to to be what it, she wanted to be in the end it's not easy life is not easy honestly The Shanquilla Robinson situation as well, similar to the Megan and the Stalin. You can't even trust friends anymore in this life. You have to pray. Pray for God to keep people in your life. And those who are not meant to be in your life or who are doing you harm, pray for God to remove them. The Shanquilla, since the Megan and the Stallion situation has come out, I really haven't heard what's happened to that. I don't know if those people got arrested. I don't know if they're still on the run. I would really like to know what's happening. I recently Googled and nothing has come up apart from the arrest of Warren that was put out. But it's it's really crazy. Like, that poor woman, she lost her life at such a young age because of envy. Like, really? People really decided to go and kill her. They planned this. I don't think they planned to kill her, but they planned it. To embarrass her, to beat her. And then in the end, she died. But yes, guys, that's it. Um, there's so much to unravel there. Click in and tune in for another video. I don't. The Shanquilla Robinson. I just pray justice is served. I pray whoever murdered her, dear God, you reveal them to the world, dear God. I pray that her enemies the one who caused harm will pay the price their god that justice will be brought for the family will have peace their god i just pray i pray that that happens i pray for all these things and i hope that everyone has a blessed merry christmas they enjoy their christmas they enjoy the time with family remember jesus it's called Christmas because it's supposed to focus on Christ. Yes, Christ was born during this period. Probably wasn't born on the 25th. Um, but Jesus Christ is real. He was born. He died first on the cross and for our sins. And I love you guys. Bye.